channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today I have another grocery haul for you guys, but you're probably like, Kim, why aren't you in the kitchen? Like I always am every week. But I have two massive boxes here and I just thought it would be easier to like go through them as I go here. I don't know, these boxes are huge. They're heavy too. <laughs> There's one box, and then there's another box below it that's even bigger. I feel very punk, punky today. What is this? Represent the Beatles. Anyway, so last week on my Trader Joe's haul, I had mentioned that coming up in the week, I was going to look at Thrive Market. Well, that's what I did, and I have been seeing it go around on YouTube. People love it, and I'm like, you know, I really want to look into it too. And you know how it's described? It's described as a Whole Foods meets Costco, and I couldn't agree more. It really is. Like, some of the things aren't necessarily like in bulk items, but more so it's like whole food items at Costco prices. And no doubt about it, like really. And I, I feel like because I put the prices with everything on my grocery hauls, I've gotten a really good sense of what things cost, um, at least where I shop. And for sure, these things were at least the same price or less. And so I'm very, very impressed. I was kind of thinking too that maybe this time since this is like a little bit different of a haul too where a lot of this stuff is brand new to me. I've never tried it. And I got like a lot of snack items too. So maybe we can like taste them too and see what we think. What I also love too is I didn't even realize it, but they have an app too. So I have the Thrive Market app on my phone as well. What I love, I know this might be like a little small point, but it matters to me, <laughs> is I love that the app syncs with your, like if you do it on the computer too. So point is, I actually did my shopping like super late at night, laying in bed and added a bunch of stuff. And then I wanted to kind of look at it again on my computer the next morning before like finalizing my order. Everything was still in my cart, even on my computer. So I, it's like the small things, but it matters. And the app is super, super simple to like navigate to. I love this. So far guys, I am so impressed. And what I like too is that you can shop through Thrive Market and actually like shop, they call it shop by value. And meaning like, do you eat raw? Do you eat gluten free? Do you eat vegan? And of course, if you're not new here, you know that I eat vegan. And Nate and I and my kiddo and so it was so nice to literally be able to go to the vegan section and just browse just browse and not have to read every label because I was already in the vegan part, you know? But what I really ended up noticing about Thrive that I actually am like, yes, this is what I've been looking for, is not so much the food, although I think the food's gonna be great. I actually think the hardest thing about being vegan, to be honest, isn't so much the food. It's the other products. It's the home products. It's the beauty products. It's all that other stuff. And it's really hard sometimes to get those things, as cleaning products especially, and actually find, when you do find them, have them be an affordable price. And I felt like Thrive had so much home products. So this is a combo, guys. This is a combo of groceries slash home products too. And I was really, really impressed with the price. I actually was able to find a few items too that I've been really looking to try and just have not been able to find in store. Anyway, I'll quit rambling, but I just wanted to give you my feedback first on like my first experience. I will definitely be doing this again. Um, and I won't, you know, preface it with all this every time, but I just wanted to give you guys my, my feedback on it. If you guys are interested in signing up, I do have an affiliate link. It is an affiliate link. Link. I'm just putting that out there. I'm always honest with you guys. I greatly appreciate it if you do use it. But what that will give you is 25% off your first order, which is amazing, and, and a 30-day free trial. So you can totally try this out, see if it's for you or not, um, before committing to it. And it's kind of like Costco where you pay a membership annually and then you're good to go. So, But again, you have 30 days free just to try it out anyway. So again, that'll all be linked below for you. Let's get into this. So I'm gonna spare you and I'm gonna actually like unwrap all of this out of the box first, but I do wanna show it to you first, just so you know how it's wrapped because they ain't messing around. There is so much like paper and stuff in here. 
but I'll do like all the unwrapping off camera for you, but you can see there is just like paper. <laughs> There's a lot. Um, these ones are pretty much in here freely. I saw that some things are in plastic bags too, which I can like reuse these completely. They're like Ziplocs. Um, and I also noticed that literally this deodorant is even taped down on the cap. Like you can tell someone put their time in to making sure everything is good. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that too, that everything is wrapped very nicely. But anyway, I'm going to get all of this out of here and then we will get into the haul. <laughs> all right. So there's a few things in the box still, but I, they look like they're pretty much unwrapped. So let's get into it. The first two things I got was actually two cans of Amy's chili I love this chili I highly recommend it it's a very like I've, I've had this before um, very simple like it's not there's not a lot going on in it but I think it's delicious <laughs> I like the spicy one too this is the medium one um, and these were a good price on there they really were so I got two of these I love to make like taco salads or um, put them on like a baked potato really really good so next thing I got I've never had this before I've been vegan almost a year and a half not quite but almost and I've never had seitan I think that's how you say it never had this. Nate too. So we are totally going to have to try this, but I've heard mixed things. I've heard it can taste like bacon. It can taste like steak. Like it's kind of a meaty uh, substitute, but I've heard different things on what people actually think it tastes like, but it does have 15 grams of plant-based protein. Of course it is completely vegan. It's soy free, um, made from wheat protein, red beans, and sprouted lentils. I don't know, I just wanna give this a shot. I saw it on there and I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what's really cool about like this whole idea too of shopping online that way, especially if you choose to pick like the vegan tab, um, assuming you're vegan too. It's just such a way to try like new things that you may have never considered before or found before. So that's what I'm loving about this so far. I can tell I'm gonna get really, really hooked. I picked up these Go Raw uh, Sweet Crunch Sprouted Cookies. So these are raw plus vegan, um, gluten-free as well. Try to tell you on that too on certain things if because I know a lot of you are gluten-free. I wanna try, let's try them. Should we try them? Let's try them. Let's do this thing. They smell very coconutty. It kind of looks like a little Mary's cracker a little bit. That's good. Oh yeah, coconut though for sure. If you don't love coconut, you probably won't love it, but coconut, sprouted sesame seeds, and dates. That's delicious. Well, there you go, see? <laughs> so got those, that's a little treat. I also picked up a lot of stuff too that is, I'm hoping, kid friendly and for our kiddos, so we'll see. I also just got a thing of raw almonds and Nate really loves to take like a handful of almonds just to work and as a snack. I'm not as big into that. I don't know, like I know they're good for you, but I've never been one to just eat like a handful of like dried nuts like this. I don't know, but I did pick these up for him. It's the Just Nuts brand Woodstock. Okay. <laughs> I picked up these Stretch Island Organic Fruit Strips and Grape. These are like pocket sized fruit strips. I think kind of like fruit roll ups. And I was thinking for my kiddo, but you know, he's not right not by me right now. Okay, okay. I'll save it for him, but it's just like a little fruit strip. These kind of look like the ones even at Trader Joe's that they carry. But I got those with him in mind, so we'll try it, those out. Oh, I'm excited to try this one out. This is actually a like half and half, half and half, it's, it's dairy free. It's half almond and half coconut milk, and it's the hazelnut unsweetened creamer for coffee. And it's the Nut Pods brand. Never tried this brand before, but thought this would be good to try in our coffee. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if, if you've tried any of these things too but definitely looking forward to trying that out. So Nate ended up going back in and adding this jerky, like beef jerky, but it is vegan jerky, maple bacon jerky. Let's do this thing. Let's see. I don't know. Oh my God. It smells, <laughs> I'm like looking at it because it smells too real. Holy crap, you guys, like this smells good. Okay, it's definitely a different texture. I don't know if you're gonna like really be able to see that, but I'm nervous. 
but it smells like it. Okay, it's definitely softer, but it's really, really good. Oh, wow. That is like, what is this? What am I eating? Oh, wow. Okay, I almost kind of like it more than jerky, like a, you know, beef jerky and stuff because that stuff's hard to bite into. This is like going way back. Textured soy protein, tamari, maple syrup, olive oil, vinegar, beet juice, brown sugar. Okay, mm -hmm. this is delicious. And seven grams of protein. Guys, get this. Please try this. If you sign up or you already signed up, because I know a lot of you already actually have a Thrive account, get this. This is amazing. The maple bacon jerky. I think they actually had other flavors too. Okay, I'm going to leave that out. I was nervous, but that is amazing. Okay, got these Go Raw banana bites. They're like banana bread sprouted bites. And let's just do it. <laughs> I hope this is fun for you guys. I just thought it would be kind of a different way to do it. Plus, you can kind of see what things look like. Hold on. You see that? It doesn't have uh, a little bit more of a smell, like not by itself, but when you put your nose in the whole bag. Uh, mm, it's okay. This is almost like a, a banana-y soft Mary's cracker. Mm, it's okay. Nah. I try it though, right? So I finally got the vegan egg. Finally. I have not tried this, guys. It's crazy. I've never had it before. And basically, all you do is when you open it, it looks like it's like in an egg carton, but it's like powder. And you just add water to it and whisk it, and it, you do it as a certain measurement, and it'll equal like one egg. So you can do it as an egg replacer. But you can totally, I guess, scramble these too. There are, I think, cheaper alternatives, and that's what I've always done, whether it's like the flax meal and then make that your egg. Applesauce is another good one. So anyway, I just got this because I saw it on there, and it was cheaper than what I've seen at our local stores. So I'm totally going to give it a shot. I actually picked up these Cliff Bars, but they're for kids. Kids. They're the organic Z bar chocolate chip uh, baked whole grain energy snack. So I got these with him in mind, my son. Again, not that we can't have these things, but I just like that they had a lot of kid friendly stuff to browse through. And I'm like, well, this is how you'll find out if they like it. But yeah, it just looks just like this. So I'll let him try those too. So I found this box of pasta. Now I have tried a lot of different pastas out there now, like whether it's the brown rice one, edamame pasta, regular pasta, the one with the hidden veggies in it. I've tried a lot of them and I like them all pretty much. This one I've never seen before. This is a green lentil penne pasta. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see it in here, but it totally looks normal. But there are 25 grams of protein in this, which I thought was really great. I've had a few of you ask me to like, um, good ideas for uh, protein to get that in, especially if you're someone that like uh, weight lifts a lot and stuff. So I'm thinking this could be it. I can't wait to try this, see if I like it, see how the texture is. Cause I do feel like edamame pasta, it tastes good, but it's not my favorite when it comes to texture. So we'll have to test this one out, but all it is is green lentil flour and organic quinoa flour. That is it. So I'm excited to try that out. I think I might have a few more like food products too, but I'm gonna kind of switch gears and do some of these like home products like I was talking about. I actually am finally trying out the Dr. Bronner's all-in-one like toothpaste and it's the cinnamon one. They totally have a peppermint one too. I think most people prefer that, but I don't know, something about the cinnamon one was like, I wanna try this out. So, got that, I was excited to find that. This is not easy stuff for me to find. Um, some of this stuff is at Sprouts. I've seen it before. Um, but aside from that, not really anywhere else. And it's not cheap there. And it's sad to say, but that's the truth. It's not. I want to smell it. So I'm taking it out of here. <laughs> Very cinnamony. I like cinnamon, but I get it may not be for everyone. I'll have to test that out. Let me know if you've tried the Dr. Bronner's um, toothpaste. On that same kick, I did go ahead and pick up another big thing of the Castile soap from Dr. Bronner's. I've never tried the almond one, and I really wanted to try it. A lot of you said you really enjoy the almond one, so I picked that one out. And I just pulled off a piece of tape too. Like I was saying, they like totally like wrap this stuff up well. 
Oh, that smells really, really good. It has like a real sweetness to it. Cool. Well, I already know I love this stuff, but new to the set. So this is brand new for me, guys. This is called the Everyday Coconut Body Wash. Um, it's fair trade, purely coconut, and it's got a big pump on it. I've never tried this before, and I just thought I would. And I also got the like paired lotion with it, too. Extremely light, which is good, because coconut, sometimes I love it, and sometimes I don't, as far as the scent, because it can be a little bit too strong, and this one is definitely not. Yeah, this is like a hint of coconut. So that's cool. I'm gonna try these out as well. They had different scents of this too. Another thing I was really excited to finally get is this uh, Schmitz deodorant. I have never tried this. I've heard great things, but I have not been able to find it at like any stores of ours, like any of them. I am on the constant look for a vegan, more natural uh, uh, deodorant. I have gone through about three in the last like six months and all of them have given me an allergic reaction. I am thinking I might be allergic to lavender and because all of those had that. And guys, just a fun little fact here, the uh, Pure Spa uh, face wash I've been using a lot from Trader Joe's. If you're not new, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I have been having these crazy breakouts. I have makeup on right now, but these crazy breakouts, more so than I normally would. And I'm real and I looked at that face wash, it has lavender in it. And I'm kind of wondering if it's like maybe it's not like a severe uh, allergy, but it's also it is one and like things are happening. I don't know. Point is, I am trying to find an actual natural deodorant that doesn't have lavender in it. This has proven to be very difficult for me, but this one does not. So, <laughs> with all that said, this was my mindset of it, and I really have heard great things. Oh, so it is the rose and vanilla scent. They do have other scents too. Oh yeah, that smells really, really good. And I like that it's a stick. I got one that it was kind of in a tub and you just take like a little dollop and do it by hand which it wasn't like a big deal but I just prefer it this way it's just easier you know I also picked up this a cure brand of this fragrance free argan oil cleansing towelettes for like makeup remover wipes so never tried these before you get 30 of them and thought I'd give them a shot I picked up this earth balance popcorn this is the vegan buttery flavor this is a tough one because I find that like store-bought popcorns are really and, and buttered flavored popcorns are never vegan they just aren't you can find like the skinny pop popcorn and it's delicious but if you do want like a flavored one it's hard when when you're vegan so I thought that this would be really cool to try I've never tried this before but you guys know we buy the earth balance butter on that same kick I got the earth balance uh, aged white cheddar popcorn as well again try that out so I thought of Nate when I found these these are the non chips and he loves non bread, like he loves it. So I thought he would like these. And I thought this would be nice for like with hummus too, cause it's just a cracker. Try this out. I did pick up one thing of cereal and I've had this before. I've totally bought this at Sprouts and Whole Foods before. And it's the peanut butter, uh, Panda Puffs, gluten free, wheat free. Uh, they're really, really good. They just, it's kind of like a kicks. Um, but peanut butter flavored. Really, really good and cheaper on Thrive for sure. Okay, one of you that already shops at Thrive totally told me to find like these blue chips. I'm not 100% sure if I found the right ones, but I think this is what she was talking about and she said they're really, really good, but they're like these blue tortilla chips. So we're gonna have to try these out, the Garden of Eaton. That's cute. <laughs> and we'll give those a shot. No salt added. This is fun. Thumbs up if you like this. <laughs> um, I also got the Bean Fields family owned nacho bean and rice chips. So. Hold on. Kid proof. Okay. It's like a dirty Dorito. It's delicious. Oh yeah, mm. it literally tastes like a Dorito mixed with beans. I love beans, so it's good. <laughs>
I got the brown rice rice cakes. I always get these. I picked these up for my kiddo and for us. I was also excited to see, I maybe you can find this everywhere. I don't know, but I haven't seen it. And this is what Starbucks used to carry, is the Tazo Zen Tea. And I love the Zen Tea. So I picked this up, I found that there. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this, I really do. Again, check out Thrive, click on the link below, and that will again give you 25% off as well as a 30 day free trial. Check it out. I really think you will love it. I am super, super impressed with it. And I'm just like really excited to try different things as I go and it's just kind of fun to like literally shop at night in bed on the app <laughs> it really really is and guys this jerky it's amazing this is delicious it doesn't look overly appealing this is amazing I'm gonna take some of this to my parents because they won't believe it <laughs> anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to finish eating this. And I will see you guys very, very soon.